if you are doing the will of God. Blessed is he that keep and do the commandment of God. So if you want to know if you are blessed, check yourself. Because blessings is not about what we possess. See, if blessings was what we possess, read the story about the rich man and Lazarus. Saints of God, all these things will pass away, but none of the word will not pass. If we not work in the word, let us work it from today. Amen. The Bible said that if we don't pursue peace with all men and holiness, without which we see God face. God is a God of ardor. Saints of God, God is a God of ardor. And God is speaking to me in these days. I will ask, please, I'm sensing destruction come against that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I subject every spirit right now is not of God. And Holy Spirit take complete control in this place. Amen. I God is speaking about to me about ardor. Saints God is a God of ardor. God is not the author of confusion. God is a God of ardor. And this assemble will only go forward in ardor. If we not in order, we go in nowhere. So I beseech you today to get your life in order. Because God is a God of order. Amen. God is not a disorderly God. He's a God of order. So this is what the Lord is ministering to me right now. Order. And if God is ministering order to the ministers, the men will not in order. But God is merciful and loving. God don't go against his word. He said, don't have, don't take away. However it is, this are So, if you want to join this band, or you're in this army, for the physical army, we know the physical army is harder. And this is God army. And God army is harder. So if you're in this army, you got to go by the harder. Amen. Amen. If you're in this army, you got to go by the harder. It's either you're in the army, or you're out of the army because we're not going against God either. God is a God of order. Amen? And we have some order who we will start putting down. It's either you go with it or you leave it. Because we're not taking it back because God is a God of order. Amen? Amen? Let us turn our Bible to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 1 to 6. It said, I, therefore, a prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling which 
you were called with our loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, bearing it with one another in love, and making every effort to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one spirit, just as you were called in one oath of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all who is, a, is above all, and through all, and in all. Amen? Father, this morning, I know that your word is forever this. Thank you this morning for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Paul was writing to the Ephesians, said, I beseech you. He said, I urge you that you walk worthy of the calling that you were called. He said, I plead with you this morning. This is not an Ephesian. He's speaking to the assembly of God and me. He said, the saints of assembly of God and me, I beseech you this morning. I beg you this morning that you walk worthy of the calling that you were called. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. No, it's love, 
love, love, love. Stop talking. We're talking too much. We're doing too much of talking. The Bible said he that practice righteousness is born of God. Say so not meekness and love, suffering, bearing with one another in love. He urged us this morning to walk worthy of the calling that God was, that God called us saints. We got to walk worthy because the Bible said without which we will not see God's face. You can't break God. Men to take pay up, but not God. God is a God of order. God is a God of order. God is not to this order we got. Last week the apostle preached about leaving lot alone. God gave Abraham a commandment that Abraham did not. God tell Abraham to come out, you alone. They did not do what God said. Abraham fetch in lot. Fetch lot behind him. God and talk back to Abraham. You know why? Because Abraham was in so hard on me. He was this, he was in this order. He was not in order. So God stop talk. You check yourself and see that God attack it. The other one said, God, you're talking. You're talking. We're wrong. You got to show me, Shana, because I want to hear you every day. I said, God, I'm hearing nothing from you. I'm just praying and getting up. I'm just praying and getting up. God, what's going on? Quiet time. God said, I want you back, go back to your first love. And your belly, you're talking and you're walking and you're thinking too much, you're too busy. So I'm gonna lie down in quiet time, he says. Lie down in quiet time. I hear my name called Rashana. I answer. I hear God say, Do you love me? A pause, because I never know if I really love God. A part. He said, God, I don't even if I love you. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. Saints of God, God is a God of idol. And you can't say, I love the Lord with all my heart and all my soul. And you don't love the lady in your neighbor. Where is he there? Yes, I lie on. You can't love God and you love Roshana. Because Roshana messed up. Or because another sister might be messed up. God said you can't do it. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. Since I was saying, God, which one of the commandments? Then the Holy Spirit reminded me. The ten, the two babies. God break it down to two, down to done all it heavy for us. He break down the stand into two. Because if we love God and we love each other, the other eight is going to fall in place. So I said, God, you mean I got I keep your commandment. I will practice it from today. Because the Bible says he that practice righteousness is born of God. You see, you got frank with yourself when God talk. God not going to tell you about nobody if you life is not in order. God is a God of order. You see, God had to talk to Abraham when he kept himself right. Confusion make me get myself right. Let me get myself right now. Get yourself right now. The Bible said, Revelation, who is holy, stay holy. Who's righteous, stay 
righteous. If you're not righteous, you stay unrighteous. This is what the Bible says. So all who live right, live rightly. Keep living right. Don't turn away. If you're not living right and you want to turn, you stay just up. That is what God said. Is God is a God of order. He's not a disorderly God. He's not a disorderly God. This man in Paul said, he urge us. I beg you this morning to walk worthy of the calling which you are called. Because God did not call, he called us unworthy to be worthy. Because God has set the unworthy things to make worthy, make it worthy. This God. God has set nothing and made something. This is the God we serve. Because saints of God, if men had to choose were shannon, I said I would not have been on pick. But I thank God for his grace. Everybody 
not their own thing. God deal with everybody different. You remember God tell, God said, I am going to show compassion to who I choose. And mercy to who I choose. If God choose to show a servant, who is me? Don't let I try to do what me supposed to do. Because I'm again a out and the same person is seen when I start to take still there. Because God so upon Let us encourage ourselves. God is warning us year over year come. We do comfortable. We gotta come to ourselves. Saints of assembly of God army. We gotta come to ourselves. It's time we come to ourselves and work the things that we hear in. Don't be hearers only, but be doers of the things of God. We hear it too much. It's looking like it's just going in, your ears are coming through in other ears. Sometimes when we look and see our part of our life there, God, I am your servant. Yes. Yes. Am I a child of God? Yes. He's gracious. He's warning us this morning. Paul said, Walk worthy of the calling which you were called. Walk worthy of the call. Make every effort to keep the unity in the spirit. Not flesh. Make every effort to keep the unity. No kingdom that fight against itself it could stand. Jesus said, I am going to, and I'm praying that y'all become one. Children, what church you go? Church, you go. Is who pastor this body? We know this pastor got church. We're the church. God is the head of the body. No, he don't go there. Me going there. No, it's not me, church. What about you, you the church? So to hear something. We got to practice it. 
we got to start. You can tell me definitely make sure you hear your thing about Sister Shannon. I make sure you hear your thing about Sister Rachel. I make a poor sister Kim. She spent this holy, holy, I ain't got to hang a box so or what? Sister Kim working out our own salvation and you got work out you. Oh, this is their shadow. Who the hell do you look, look now? Yeah, I know she. Yeah, yeah, I don't know me. in Christ. Behold, all things have passed away and all things become new. You know the dead you don't know this living one. The one that already will you know, she is not alive no more. I am a new creation. A brand new woman. Let us get our act together. If I have to have problem, that's why Paul write this letter. If I have to have problem, he said, let us walk in love in the spirit of unity, in the bond of peace. Because there is one body. In your right back, no other body said, one alone. And the head is Jesus. One body. There is one body. One spirit. Just as you were calling one hope of your calling of the one Lord. Different stuff. God got attack 
into myself. I say, God, I got to let me where you want me to. I'm talking to myself because this has got to die. And all this desire. This mouth like that, you got your hand out, you're doing too much attacking. You're doing too much attacking. And God bribe you. You, I got to bribe you. This, I will always have to blind you. I can do it. You got to, you got to see things of God, talk things of God. Since we got to get our life in order, no man can do it. It's God in you is the will and to do. It's God in me to will and to do. God is able to keep me from doing wrong because He lives in me. Each other. 
we women, we're supposed to feel for each other. We women. Because the bickering majority of the time is not among the men. In all the ministries, so that's why John was precisely speaking to the women. It's something from day one. But we could change it around. You got to let line up in the order. 
Because if you was in the physical army and you left turn and tell you kneel down, you will kneel down. So anybody you see all this, my kid, is the boss of me. If they say stand and raise your hand, you must stand and raise your hand. Don't think like you sit down. You don't know who. If say everybody come to the altar, get up from your seat and come to the altar. This house has our door. If you can't do this hard, you, you could go and the and stop you. But he is a the ardor. He is a half ardor. And all the ardor comes from the apostle. So when you see I say something, it's what the apostle said. They say, oh, me said he doing not to come here from Pastor Mo. Pastor Mo, be speaking. It's ardor. Ardor. We are going to practice it from today. Amen. Amen. God is a God of ardor. We're practicing it from today. If nothing we are here, you're not like, but you're going to go with it. Because you want changes. Changes is the only thing. Nothing but come easy. God is a God of order. We gotta get ourselves in order. We gotta walk worthy of the calling that God has called us. We got to walk worthy of the calling that God has called us. We got to walk worthy. It's we gotta do it, saints of God. We got to do it. God is not coming down on the one. We got to do it. We got to do it. Amen. We got to do it. I, I will call upon the apostle. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is the God of. Inject this word into your spirit in Second Peter chapter three. Second Peter chapter three. You know, Saturday. Yesterday was Saturday, right? Yes, amen. It was a powerful word that was ministered Saturday morning. How many of you watch that message? Amen. What was the message? If you're serving God, serve God alone. If you're serving God, serve God. Amen. I think that should be a question for our own self. We should ask ourselves the question: Am I serving God? Am I ready to serve God? Am I ready? You know, I've heard many people said before, and I and I trust them, and I I, 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 I want you know I, I admit that most of us should do that. You know, some people said, "Look, I ain't coming to church, pastor," but the day put me for the church is done. Some other people said, "Look, be ready to serve God," but the day I serve, I begin, I, I could be mine to serve God. Down. Okay, some people didn't make it, but some did. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this, first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers, walking after their own lusts. And saying, where is the promises of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue 
as they were from the beginning of the creation. Follow me, verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of waters, out of water and in water, whereby the word then that that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Now, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men come slackness, but is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the heavens shall melt with favored heat. The heart also and the works that are therein shall burn up. Now verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Question. What manner of person ought you to be? The answer, in all holiness, in all holy conversation and godliness, since all these things will dissolve, everything a man is working for today, everything a person is fighting to attain, all those things will pass away. I said, Paul, I said, all. Oh. you that are here you, and you believe in God for a breakthrough because maybe you want a, a bigger house, brothers and sisters, all those things will pass away. If you don't watch your television, you should be watching it. In Japan, the flood is taking all these things away. You that are here, believe in God for your license to have a car. All these things will pass away. So what type of life should we live today? We should be living a holy life. I want you to go and watch Saturday message. If you serve in God, serve God. One thing I want to say to you, you can't fool people. You can only fool yourself. Yes. 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 Did you hear me? Yes. And fool yourself is a big fool. So true. I said, if you can fool yourself is a big fool, so you know the type of life you're living. So you know if Jesus will come now, you're ready. So you know. I said, you know. I know, you know. I don't know about you, but I know about me. I said, I don't know about you, I know about me. If the trumpet, listen to me, this whole week, I felt as though I'm going to die. Then I realized, you know what? Life is a viper. Life is a... Listen to me, life is a... Life is up. Today you're here. Today you're here. Not talking and easy, but it's real. I said, today you're here. Are you sure about tomorrow? Are you sure about tomorrow? Are you sure you're going to wake up tomorrow? So today, if you hear the word of God, don't hide in your heart. If you're going to serve God today, serve.
joy you are with. Box 
side, all right? Huh? Oh, she's French. Don't leave this place without making a decision to serve God.